You gonna hit another high note, David? <laughs> <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> Thank you. Rebecca has added so much light and energy to our lives. It's just amazing. And I'm grateful for her every single day. Um, I'm happy to be here tonight. I'd like to um, start by just making a couple comments. Turtle Berry, isn't she beautiful and talented? And the spotlight was powerful. We're twins, did you know that? Mm -hmm. I'm just a little shorter and a little older and a little wider, but you know. <laughs> okay. Let David D finish um, tuning up. Um, while he's doing that, I can be reached at, um, at on Twitter at, um, at a DK Rose or on Facebook, a DK Rose poet. Um, and. Um, um, my website is at dkrose.com. So February is Love Month, mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit around the world, a little bit of a journey. Okay, I'd like to start with this first piece. We must learn to love freely and unconditionally. Just don't get lost in it. Loving is like a jigsaw puzzle. It can be challenging to make the pieces fit. If it proves difficult, we want to discard it, leaving us with a space that can't be filled. Easier to give up, walk away, find something simpler another day, or not try at all. Sometimes we stamp out love, like pouring water on a raging fire then until it's out, and then shivering from the cold. The reluctance to love is an unwritten song, poem that rests on the page, but never in your heart it is unfilled potential. Why does the new flaw loom large and the otherwise perfection grow diminished and devalued? We live in a disposable society, bombarding us with messages that new and different creates happiness. So we litter our lives with discarded loves in search of our soulmates. But there are no perfect souls. In our vanity, we search in vain for someone who will love us more than we love them or ourselves. Invariably, we will be disappointed because loving isn't about someone else. It is about loving God and oneself and putting that into the universe, knowing love is infinite. Though we can't be indiscriminate with our hearts, they are not designed to endure recurrent, deliberate acts of harm, but they are insured with a lifelong supply of love Hearts possess a policy of possibilities. Protect it, but be sure to resurrect it. You can't heal a heart if you harden or hide it. We must learn to love freely and unconditionally. Just don't get lost in it. Yes. Thank you. Jerry's hiding there at the corner. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> um, I think I learned to love unconditionally very early in life. Um, I grew up as a military brat, traveling from country to country with a father who was often on TDY or deployed. And um, that took a toll on our lives and our family, but it never embraced the love that I had for him. And so, this poem is an old friend, and I'd like to share it tonight. He sits and stares into classified emptiness, completely 
completely unaware that he's no longer contained behind blackened windows. Secrets are safe with him. He will never reveal what he's seen, what he knows. The military has complete control. Even his dreams are censored. Deployed alone to locations he cannot disclose. Once returned home, he sits alone and stares into camouflage nightmares. The young girl curls up to the man who is a shadow of someone she has known. She dare not make noise, for he is poised to erupt into a rage he cannot control. Too many years in dark holes, too many secrets that can't be told, have made him a stranger in his own home. He is collateral damage, giving his life to a country that devalues his waste, his heart to a wife who rarely feels his embrace, his hopes to a future he cannot face, for he is entrenched in secrets. There is just a patient young girl in barrettes and kinky curls waiting for her father to smile. It takes a while. In days or weeks, he unfreezes. First eye contact, then a smile to show she pleases him. They listen to jazz. Eventually they dance. He rejoins the living. The military life is far from fair. Always more secrets he must bear. Once again he returns to sit and stare. A tortured soul mired in despair. The young girl curls up quietly by his side, waiting once again for daddy to come alive. Thank you.
sexy will grant you a temporary fine, but it takes much more to win a heart that is loving and kind. I speak the truth, I know. If you don't become wise beyond your years, you will spend your life in tears over one bad relationship after another. It is time you discover that inner beauty has more power than any makeup, dress, or heels. And no one makes him hot, but do you know what makes him feel? Yeah. Yeah. You are very and beautiful, and I fear you think that's all you need to keep a lover near. But you will not always look this way. What's inside of you is what makes a lover stay as your youth begins to fade away. There will always be younger and sexier, but you won't need to envy her. When your man loves your beauty emanating from inside, you will always be sexy in heart and in his eyes.